channel today it's a very close to my heart video 10 things that french women will never 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 do i've done this video part one in february actually it was one of my first video um, i was filming with my phone it was a bit unstructured i talked for 20 minutes but it was a lot of positive reaction to this video and over 70 or 80 thousand views so i thought what about i'm doing a part two but this time a little bit more sophisticated so i've done some selection 10 points about style fashion um anything in life in general that french women will never never do the first one that french women will never 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 do it's over accessorize so you can have fun with especially right now is big fashion about the gold chains okay don't go over two gold chains and don't do the gold here the gold here the gold here the gold it's going to be way too much and when you look too over of accessorized it looks like you tried too hard and as well it looked cheap so in terms of jewelry try to be a bit simple doesn't mean you don't have to have a piece of jewelry that is a statement one big earrings but if you wear for example big earrings just keeping the rest very neutral okay one it's this one is coming from my mom and i can assure you if any french women are watching this video right now when they're going to listen what I'm going to say now, they're going, they're going to know, they're going to say, oh yeah, yeah, she's right. <laughs> never, 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 never had a dirty home. Never. Doesn't matter if you have kids, if you're busy, you have two jobs, never, never, never had your home who's dirty. You need to clean your home at least once per week, meaning dust, vacuuming, cleaning the dishes, you make your bed every morning, tidy up everything, clean after yourself in the bathroom. You, you got my point. Do you know why? Because we come from the mentality that we are, can be visited any time of the day or the evening, which actually, when you think about it, if someone come to your place and announce you don't like it too much, but sometimes it happens, you have someone coming over, you know, or a neighbor or something happened, and you have to have your home that is always ready to welcome friends and family. I'm sure it's not only to the French people, but as a French little girl, I've been told that by my grandmother, by my mom. Uh, I, yeah, it, it's just something that we do. Any houses I've been visiting in France, all of them, I never thought a second is dirty, it's messy. Even if it's not my type of decoration, that's another point, it doesn't matter. I can assure you, French people houses or home or apartment, they're spotless. And if they're not, then they're an exception. <laughs> this one only happened to me when I moved to Australia. Never happened to me in France. Let me explain. Never, never body shame a skinny person. Do you know how many times people call me a skinny bitch? And it's not nice. The same way my people call me Frenchy. I know I'm French, don't call me Frenchy, call me by my name. So how many times we've insecure women, but at the time I didn't know, they just say, oh, you're just a skinny bitch. I'm not a skinny bitch. Well, I wish to be one now somewhere, but it's gonna go back to normal eventually. But you know what, as much as you're not allowed to body shame someone who is overweight and fat, don't body shame someone who is fit and slimmer than you. You go for a drink with one of your friends, okay? Your good friend, you sit down, you have a glass of wine, everything is fine. And she said, two of my girlfriends that you never met are coming over. Within the next 15 minutes of those two women came, asked me, tell me, I'm a skinny bitch. They asked me if my eyelashes were real, my boobs were real, and how do I stay so slim? Within 15 minutes, I was bombarded with those very personal questions and I didn't like it. Or sometimes people ask, but you don't have kids? No. Why? 
And one day, just to annoy you this question, I just said, I can't have kids. But you know what? You shouldn't ask this question anyway. Very personal question. You get the point. Wow, heavy stuff huh, today. <laughs> As you know, I live 10 years in Paris. Paris is a very tough city. Not only to walk, to live, it's very pricey, very busy, but it's amazing in your 20s to be in Paris because you go out and you're just a new world and you meet thousand interesting people. The art, the museum, it's just like every day, you're just like a sponge, you know. But as well in Paris, uh, especially when I arrived from the West Indies and I was a surf girl, my hair was almost blonde and I was tan. Uh, I, I really looked like I just come from the beach, you know. I was didn't care what I was wearing and suddenly be surrounded by those typical Parisian women are not the most friendly women, by the way, until you know them. And they were always super stylish. The makeup was always like neat. And I looked like a little wild girl from the woods, you know, with my hair like that. And I have no style. I was just like, and I felt slowly out of my place. And I thought either way I'm going to fit and I'm going to learn. And then I learned because in Paris, you have access to this fashion via exhibition and magazines, uh, people you meet, I met models, I met photographers, I met fashion designers, and slowly you changing your style, slowly you just creating your wardrobe Think about it. But every time I go to Paris, I still don't do it. On a Sunday morning, when you go to the bakery in a Sunday morning, you don't go with your tracksuit. It's like a no, no. You have shower, you put a little bit of makeup, and even if you dress casual, so that would be my point, even when you dress casual, you think about your outfit. So casual can be just a nice pair of jeans with a nice top and a nice pair of sneakers. That's totally fine, but they're gonna be absolutely spot. And guess what? When you spend 10, so many years like me in Paris, it stick to you. So even now in Sydney, and thanks God I'm here because I love the laid back casual, um, approach. Sometimes they're a bit too casual here because some women sometimes they really don't make zero effort to dress up. But even in my casual way, for example, today I'm wearing this beautiful puff sleeve sweatshirt, really, really black. I'm wearing, ugh, I'm still barefoot by the way, uh, the mom's jeans, okay. And when I will go out, I will still have a nice scarf and beautiful sneakers because today it's the weekend. And so it's more casual, but again, I have like very light makeup, but very nice, you know, minimal earrings. I wanted to talk about it for so long on this one, so long. I've seen on YouTube, YouTubers that I love so much, so many women creating those videos about how to be a Parisian, how to look French, and you know, and they're not French. They don't even never lived in France. Okay. Sometimes maybe some of them never put a foot in France, but they will tell you how to be French or, and some of the time they say things that like, yeah, okay. That was an easy one, but I'm a little bit annoyed about that. The same way of some women, they talk about French product, but that you can't because you don't speak French fair enough. Okay. But make a bit of effort when you pronounce the French brand, it's not Lancome. Because even if I hear someone on a video say that, I will not know who you're talking about. And I'm like, what is, which brand? Ah, Lancôme. So you have to learn a bit about that. The same way, I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm not angry. I assure you, I am not angry. I don't wear a beret. And for a matter of fact, I don't own a beret. Do I have stripes? Yes. Do I wear straps to look French? No, I like straps because I'm from Brittany, this is where we were over there, and because I just like it. Okay. But sometimes, and that's my fault, and I don't want to be a cliche. I don't want to be a stereotype Frenchy where you think French people on a bicycle with a beret, a striped top, and a baguette under, under the arm, and a French bulldog. <laughs> but sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I'm outside and this is true. I got this striped top wearing a jeans 
And I have Oscar, which is my French bulldog, if you don't know. And I go to the bakery and I'm going to buy a baguette. And I'm walking and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, shame on me. <laughs> I look so French. But I don't do that in purpose because I am not a cliche. So every time you see these French style photos or a photo shoot in Paris and the woman is wearing a strap top and, and a French bulldog and a baguette and a beret, oh my gosh, don't do that. Come on, stop the stereotypes of different culture and, and people and no, just don't do that, okay? And for the little story, the French bulldog that we call in French le bulldog français, uh, it's not a French dog, it's an English dog. Did you know that? That actually the English found this bulldog so ugly, it looks like it's a bat with, you know, giant ears. They said the dog is so ugly, we're gonna call it a French bulldog. And that's a true story. Talk about, I'm just gonna show you how gorgeous is my dog. The English people said you're too ugly. That's why they call you the French bulldog. Eh? No way. You're the most adorable dog in the world. Oh, oh, and you're heavy. Oh my gosh. Look how big you are. Look how big you are. So all this emotion, let's go back to a normal conversation. We have one rule in style as well uh, for French women, and you should definitely apply that to you, but I'm sure you already do it. But if you don't know, here we go. If you want to show a little bit of uh, décolletage, that's totally okay to a limit, of course, then don't show your legs. If you show a little bit your arms, then try not to show the rest. If you wear a skirt, like I'm wearing sometimes, and it's a little bit open, like half of the leg, which is very lovely, then wear something maybe close to the throat. So the rule is, if you show something sexy here, don't show on the bottom and vice versa. It's easy because if you start to be too sexy, showing your arms, décolletage, and then you have a midi skirt, a mini short, and super high heels, very, very quickly, <laughs> Oscar, very, very quickly, you can look like someone you not don't want to represent. And that's not who you are. You can be super sexy, but don't be over sexy. French women or French people in general, we love very good quality clothes, okay? We definitely will spend more money in one item, much more expensive, sorry, um, and maybe less, okay? In terms of fashion, we don't, f we do follow the fashion, but at the end of the day, it's all about having your own signature, your own style, okay? You don't have to look exactly like those magazines, okay? But especially if it's logo, an outfit logo like Fendi, Gucci, Louis Vuitton uh, do as well sometimes. They have a logo outfit from head to toe. It looks great on a magazine, on a photo shoot. In the life, it looks, it doesn't look so good. And French people, we don't do that. So if you wear a logo item, like I have, for example, on a Louis Vuitton, um, I will definitely turning down the rest of the outfit. Makeup. So it's actually very simple to follow those French rules, okay? And I don't say French people do better. <laughs> I just said we have, we are copied by thousands and millions of people around the world. Designers are getting inspired by us and we have the biggest name in fashion and luxury and food, uh, you know, so there's probably a reason for that. In terms of makeup, especially when you're over 40, less is more, okay? Um, French women will probably prefer having a tint cream, a BB cream than having full on foundation. I like foundation personally, but I don't do the full coverage. So you will see my, my skin is far, far away to be perfect. I will make up more the eyes, but even if I do the eyes, I'm not crazy about the eyes. You know, I put a little bit of eyeshadow, little bit of eyeliner and mascara, and that's already way too much for a average French woman. I put a little bit of blush, bronzer, but I think it's a French thing wearing bronzer, you know, because we like to have what we said in French, good, une bonne mine. I'm just looking for the word in French. Bonne mine means you have good color on your face. You're just like, oh, you look, you look healthy. 
and in lipstick all of my red lips but again if i do the red lips i will never go heavy on the eyes but usually i never go super heavy on the eye for example if i have to go to a black tie event I will definitely wear more makeup around the eyes, so maybe I will do a smoky eye. Then if I do that, I will never wear the red. But I will love wearing red. I love wearing red lips with just a bit of a mascara and, and I'm always an eyeliner person. Anyway, that was the 10 things that French women never do in style and had to be a classy and elegant woman. So that was part two. We are in July, so that was five months after I've, I've done the first one. And I hope you appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a comment. You're more than welcome to ask me any question you want. Subscribe to the channel to show me your support and share it with friends that you think you will love. Love, love reading from you. And follow me on Instagram. I'm always forget asking that, but uh, to me, the most important is the YouTube channel. But Instagram, sometimes I post photos that I can't obviously see on YouTube. And I give you a big kiss. And I said to you, au revoir. And to the next time, you take care. Bye.